Hello everybody, welcome to Claro Beauty and with your host Claudia Lara. Thank you very much for tuning in and for watching. Okay, so today I have another exciting video. <laughs> that word every day. <laughs> and it is about the new Westman Atelier foundation, like tint. Uh, it's a little different than her foundation stick, which is creamier. And so, um, We'll be talking about that. I also got her new brush for this liquid foundation. So we're gonna be talking about both. And I'll do a little bit of face with Westman Atelier since it's one of my favorite brands. So if you're interested in that, uh, please keep on watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Please ring the bell so you know when I upload new videos. Okay, so moving on. The first thing I wanna say is, I really like the experience receiving a packaging from Westman Atelier. Uh, it comes in a regular box, but then when you open it, it's all this beautiful gray. The paper is beautiful gray. Look at the envelope with a little heart. Also the same color, it comes a little, uh, everything inside is the same color. It has a little sticker. So I just really appreciate that experience. I know Victoria Beckham does the same thing with her own colors. Charlotte Tilbury does the same thing. And I mentioned this because there's other brands that haven't come up with a beautiful experience to receive the packages. Ah. And of course, Dior and Chanel, that is a little higher experience than this, but I really appreciate this. All right, moving on. Um, so the brush, I was iffy about getting it or not because it was expensive, it's $115. Uh, but since I was getting the foundation and since I really owe all her line, I mean, it's very few items that I don't own. So I couldn't just not have that one, right? <laughs> so we'll see how it works. I came in this box, which is also that gray, and here it is. Of course, it comes packaged. Um, is very, it's sort of short, look at that, and very bulky, and it is very soft. Her brushes usually, uh, for what I know, they are synthetic, but in a very high quality type, because first of all, the price, but um, they're made in Japan, and apparently the, uh, the way they're made is something that is special or high-end. And the fibers always feel very, very soft. Now this one feels soft and concise. So you do have to like, it's now like, like usually my favorite brush to use for foundations, which is the IT Cosmetic, of course it doesn't compare, but this is soft too, but this kind of um, fly, I don't know if you know, understand what I'm trying to say, but this one, they move, but they are concise. Maybe it'll be a press. We'll see once I open the, the foundation, which uh, for what I've seen in the swatches is very liquidy. We'll see. Now the foundation, I have <laughs> something, something that surprised me. First of all, it comes in the pinkish color. This is another uh, beautiful tone that most Westman Atelier uses, the gray or the pinkish, and I love it because it's pink, but very, very soft. It's just very lovely. Anywho, but what really surprised me, the size. I mean, this look like, you know the perfumes that are samples <laughs> that come in a little box? <laughs> I mean, all right, so her foundation sticks are this. If you own one, look at this. Uh, if you own one of her brushes, okay, blushes, look at this. This is not the mini, this is the actual size of the blush, but look at the size of the foundation. So that really surprised me. I felt like, well, a sample, the foundation that it come, you know, I was extremely surprised. Of course, now I pulled it out. So here it is, my palm. I mean, okay, I have big hands, but come on. I mean, let's look at a Chanel size. Well, it doesn't look that small here. <laughs> of course, this is a lot thicker. But I don't know how, I'll, I'll check how many ounces or whatever. 
Okay, so this one is called Vital Skincare Complexion Drops. All right. Uh, one thing that she does emphasize in every video I've seen is shake it very well. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. So I don't know. Now, I do know that um, for the longest times, because I follow her, she's been trying a lot of skincare, a lot of different things for the skin. I don't know if that has something to do with making of this. But I do know she's very into clean beauty, into natural, into nice, into all of these things, right? So let's try it out. I'm very curious. Oh, the other thing to, to notice, and I'll compare it to the foundation stick, because for some reason, they didn't have my color. They didn't have Atelier One. That is my favorite color. And I'll do that after application. I'll do the, the swatches at the end. So they didn't have that. For some reason it said sold out. I'm sure it hasn't because it just came out. So maybe it was just delay. There were a few colors, like three colors out of her whole collection that, were, that said that. So because I wanted to get it as fast as possible, I ordered 0.5. So this is gonna be 0.5. And the only other thing, let me start applying it. Okay, so I checked it. Look how cute, there's a, a heart in there. Oh, I love that detail in the gold, right? Oh, she is the best. This is sort of plasticky, but um, doesn't feel cheap, at least to me. All right, so very liquidy. Put a little bit. Now let's try it. Now I'm gonna apply this side with my finger, and then because I seen her apply it with her fingers or hand, right? And I want to see the difference between the two sides. Okay. So my cat is in the background wanting to get out. <laughs> and I am not going to let him out until we finish the video. All right. So we're gonna try now the other side. Oh well, there's with. And this without. So it is covering. Now, I wanna keep in mind that this is not my preferred um, color. I don't know what that was. And what I was saying about the 0.5, 0.5 on the stick is not at all my color. I also own Atelier Anne, which is supposed to be lighter. And so between 0.5 and Anne, I like Anne better. And so I was debating if I should get Anne or this 0.5, but, um, and it's just too light. I knew that was not gonna work. I mean, I use it for my under eyes or things like that. All right, so here we are with the brush, with my hand. Is there any difference? I'm picking up the mirror. Hmm, I don't see any difference to tell you the truth. So at this moment, I don't see the point of this brush. And probably if I had applied it with my brush, um, would have been the same because I really don't see a difference between fingers and brush. I guess if you just don't like to use your fingers or you're a makeup artist and don't wanna use your fingers on your clients. But in this moment, I wanted to apply just a tiny little bit, but I'm having to reapply because the red. So definitely very, very light coverage. And so I'm wondering, I'm wondering since it's so light, what's the difference? I think her foundation stick cover more now, this is supposed to have a little more glow. 
of course, and skin properties. So I do find a little more glow, but, um, hmm. Now what I'm gonna do, since this is 0.5, so it's a little cooler than my, I'm missing that yellow that usually I run away from. So I'm gonna take my Atelier One and we're gonna do some swatches from this and the actual sticks. But I'm gonna take this Atelier One and add a little bit here and there. And then of course, I had all my Westman Atelier brushes right here. <laughs> and now they're gone. Oh, now I remember where I put them. Yes, yeah, so I put them in this other door so I can find them right away. <laughs> oh, Dios mio. You know, when you try to be organized, but your brain forgets where you put things away. <laughs> I'm sure you don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, so I just took a little bit of the Atelier One and I'm just gonna, see it's a light yellow. Can you see the tone? So I don't know, perhaps the drops in the, it will be too yellow for me. I'm not sure, but, but this does cover and it's so light. So I'm just trying to see the combination. Also, I'm doing that because it is a little glowy, especially here in the front. So most likely I would use some of her powder, just a tiny little bit to set it. Um, I, I don't like it just like that. It looks a little, you see a little glowy. And so I would put just a tiny little bit of powder here. So I'm just wondering, see, instead of that, I use the actual foundation stick. So I just apply a Tilly one, which is my color, and it did cover the yellow. I don't like how it's covering my under eye. So I'm gonna try now the 0.5. This is the 0.5 in the stick. And I'm very curious if it matches. You see that? So it is more the color for sure. So it matches the color just in a more intensity. Creamy, cover more. It's almost like the molecules are more together. Like the one from the tint, they really sort of spread out and smooth. You see that? And the ones from the stick is creamier and more closer together, so they do have more coverage. So let's see. Um, I am liking that combo to put the foundation all over and then the foundation stick just here. So it really keeps the glowiness in the rest of the house and it makes more matte in the front. But, mm, I am missing a little bit of more coverage, a little bit, because I am tempted to grab the powder. It's very tiny. So I don't like the Atelier one with this. I think it just makes this area darker than the rest. And usually I like this lighter than the rest. So I'm gonna take the a little bit of the 0.5, grab a little bit, and I will just put it on this side, especially on the under eye because it's really not doing much, this foundation. Um, if you've been with me, you know that I wear Charlotte Tilbury corrector most of the time under any foundation. So per, I didn't do that today because I wanted to see how much you cover. Perf perhaps if I had done that, it wouldn't be, I mean, I don't have big purple under eyes or whatever, but I am finding with age, especially in this fifth level 50, that I do need to cover them. It makes a huge difference. And that was never the case. I barely ever use uh, um, under eye you know, concealer, but it seems nowadays that I do have to. So we did all that. I think this is good enough. Um, I do want to pull a little bit of the powder. And because this is 0.5 and I feel that it has, um, well, 
because I have two of, the, two of the powders. I have the pink and I have the yellow. So there's the pink and usually it goes very cool for my skin tone. And then I have this, which is more neutral, but it's towards the yellow. And I was going to go to the pink, but maybe the yellow will set it and correct everything just perfect. Like I'm looking forward to it. Now I do have her powder brush, but I'm very tempted to use a Sonia G just because I use this for bronzer as well. Well, it's clean. Let's just use it because it is the Westman Atelier, right? Uh, I don't know if you saw my, my video on this. Okay, let's apply a little bit. Where I say, I would really like to buy two of this so I can use one for the bronzer and one for the powder because the, it really works beautiful for both. And definitely this is like the best, best, best for her bronzer. See, this works, but it takes a whole practicality out of it because I use the liquid glow, then I use the foundation stick, and then I use the powder. But the way it's looking right now, and the powder you saw, I just put it a little bit in the center, right? Um, so this way I do like it. Now, perhaps what she's trying to accomplish, and of course now who knows, right? Because I don't know if this was what she was going for. The foundation stick, I love, it works for me. I use it a lot, uh, but it's true. It doesn't give me a finalized finish. And if I want to glow, she started talking or showing us how to use the lit up, which is her highlight right? This is the transparent. She has different colors. And she always shows, which we'll be doing, right? So she puts it very much underneath to give glow. I don't necessarily like to do that. So I'm just going to apply it here, maybe a little bit in, but I'm not into very big in there. But perhaps she was doing that for those that were looking for that glowiness. And since uh, people were asking, and perhaps like me, are not don't like that necessarily, maybe that's why she came up. See, I won't do it that in. She came up with this glowy foundations to fill that void, right? That or that need. Um. All right. Well. And so if. She is providing the makeup service for a client. Maybe she can use all her products because now she has the new foundation. And so if you use all three, it really gives you the complete, uh, very finalized look. That's what I'm thinking. All right, well, let's, let's include a little bit of the biscuit, which you know is my favorite. I'm just trying to see how it will look with a little bit more of what I usually do in a very fast and easy uh, sort of makeup look. And while I do this, I'm actually trying to, to think so I can give you my thoughts if I will recommend it or not. Because, you know, Westman Atelier is my favorite brand. So in one hand, I would say, yes, it works. I mean, Compared to many foundations I have used and many brands and all of this, this is still one of my favorites. So this is still go up with the, with the number one, the Chanel, for example, right? A very light, very um, natural, good for the skin sort of category. So we're not going to the bottom of the row or brands that I'm like, oh no, the foundation, I can only wear it for a couple of hours and take it off. So we're not going there. We're talking top, top, top notch. And it does compete. I mean, I do like it. See, I was trying to get my thoughts together and lose my thoughts, right? So I do like it. Now, would it be my favorite? I don't know. Let's see now a little bit of, uh, what's this color? This is Mimi. Oh yeah, this was one of the favorites, right? And I am using her brush. This is very tiny. I was gonna go for the, for my Sonia G preferable for cream blushes, but 
We are going for West Minitalia. Okay. So, I don't want to prolong this because this none of these are new, only the foundation. So, and I am wearing her eyebrow pencil, which I own two. The one I'm wearing is called Bark. And I also have um, clay. Clay is a little more yellowish golden. So if you are more in the blonde, this is beautiful. It's lighter than right now and more in the yellowish brownish. This one is more for bonnets. And so that's what I'm wearing. And of course I love everything else I'm applying goes perfect, obviously with the foundation. And so now that I'm doing that, listen, I love the brand. I think I said that. <laughs> so, and it does give me that glowiness and I'm liking it more and more as time goes by. Why? Well, that's a good question. I'm gonna apply just a little bit of color on my lift. Um, I haven't wear, I haven't used this, this, uh, what is it, Le Rouge Lip Suede, her lip, in a while. I'm so happy I pulled it out. Look at that. Oh, yeah. This is not the colors we're looking for the fall. Maybe I should apply more nude, but I, guys, I mean, come on. I had to do something different. You know this. We're still in the summer. I know all the fall colors came out already, but, and it's kind of like you're going to that mood. But I have to remind myself, I live in Miami, it's 90 degrees outside or more. And this fall situation, I'm like, it's still summer. <laughs> and even this pink is not even summer pink, right? But look how beautiful. All right, so adding all of that, you see how it still sees glowy, but in a very nice way. It doesn't seem sweaty now. Of course, I added the the powder, but I'm liking what's happening. Maybe it has one of those molecules that with time, it starts molding into your own skin and using your own natural oils. I think that's what's happening. I'm not kidding. Oh, wow. I mean, look at this. I know in camera it looks a little glowy, but it's not the glowy that you would get from like a Herborean or, or you know, like the Tom Ford stick, which is a little more. No, it's a, it's a very, it reminds me a little bit of Clé de Peau, uh, which is one of my favorites, the Clé de Peau foundation, that kind of radiance. All right, so I redeem everything I was saying because Mm-hmm, I like it. Would I use it every day? No, it was too much, the, the skin thing and then the powder and then the stick. But if I was going to a night out, which I wouldn't use the foundation stick, now I can do a complete look with Westman Atelier, I think, I think. So I will pin down below how it is after a couple of hours. We'll see how it, it works through the day but so far I think it's a winner all right well this is the final look and oh my god I thought it was gonna be a quickie one <laughs> and nope <laughs> so uh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so please ring the bell in the right hand corner and please comment down below are you getting now my cat is down here asking me to please let her out so I will do that now. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye.